In this video, we're going to take a look at how to weld, subtract, and overlap our vectors so we can edit them in the software. You can see in the 2D view here, I have some vectors and they're overlapping at the moment. I'm going to click in the top left and drag my selection box around my vectors. And with them selected, we'll go through the tools one by one. So let's start off with weld. Now, what does weld do? It welds the selected vectors together. So let's have a look at what that looks like. Now you'll notice it's welded them together so the outer perimeter of the shape is kept, but the inside has been taken away. So that's welding your vectors together. Let's look at subtract. Now the subtract tool actually subtracts the second selected vector from the first. So the order in which you select your vectors is important here. So if I select my top vector first, then select my second vector, I can click subtract and it will subtract that second vector from the first. And you can see it's left over this almost upside down L shape because it has taken away the area where the second vector was overlapping that first vector. And speaking of overlaps, let's have a look at how overlapping works. So if I highlight just these two vectors, if I click the overlap tool, it will keep the overlap of the selected vectors, which is this middle bit where the vectors overlapped. If I select all three of those vectors, you'll notice the segments that overlap are here and here, and I should keep those. And we click that tool and it keeps just those sections. Now, what about other uses? Well, we can actually have a look at text. So if I turn off my layer for boxes and turn on my text layer, you can see there's some scenarios where you have text that overlaps and you may want to get rid of some of these sections and make it look a lot more of a clean transition into the next letter. Well, what we can do here is actually use the weld tool. If I highlight my text, and I come over to the weld tool and I click it, we're going to get a warning first that says some objects such as text or distorted objects are converted to cursorless operations. So it'll no longer be text, they'll be now vectors. So it's asking me if I would like to replace or keep the original objects. In this case, I'm actually going to replace them. And you'll see that when I click replace, the text transitions into each other or the letters transition into each other much more smoothly now. You can see there's no more overlap between the E and the L, the L and the C and so forth. And that's a really useful way in how you can use the weld tool so you can see how powerful it really is. And that brings to the end of our video and that covers how to use weld, subtract and overlap in Vectric software.